why is SPSS not showing output? If you're working with SPSS and suddenly find that your output is not showing up, you're not alone. Let's figure out what might be going on and how to fix it. First, let's talk about one of the most common issues, the output management system, OMS, being turned on. When OMS is active, it can redirect your output, making it seem like nothing is happening. To check if this is the problem, look at the status bar at the bottom of your SPSS window. If you see OMS there, it's likely the culprit. To turn it off, open a syntax window and run the command omsendtag equals all. This should disable OMS and allow your output to appear as usual. Another possible reason is related to the auto recovery feature in SPSS. Sometimes this feature can malfunction and leave OMS turned on, even after you restart your computer. To fix this, you can turn off the auto recovery option in the SPSS settings. Go to Edit Options, General, and uncheck the auto recovery box. This will prevent the auto recovery thread from interfering with your output, but keep in mind it also means you won't be able to recover unsaved work if SPSS crashes. Resource availability can also be a problem. If your system is running low on memory, or if the necessary database or services like SPSS Modeler Server and CADS are not available, your SPSS job might fail. Check your system resources and ensure all prerequisite services are running. You can also look at the job history logs to see if there are any specific error messages indicating what went wrong. Sometimes the issue might be specific to the syntax you're using. For example, if you've changed a syntax command, like switching from R1 to UN in a mixed effects model, it could cause the output to not appear. In such cases, try reverting back to the original syntax or checking for any syntax errors. Rebooting SPSS can also sometimes resolve these issues. If you're using a newer version of SPSS, like version 29, there might be compatibility issues with your operating system. For instance, users on macOS Sonoma have reported issues with SPSS not opening or showing output. In such cases, you might need to apply specific patches or updates provided by IBM to make SPSS compatible with your OS. Finally, if none of these solutions work, it might be helpful to run your analysis through the graphical user interface instead of using syntax. For example, go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and run your analysis from there. If this works, it could indicate a problem with your syntax or the way it's being executed. By checking these potential issues and following the steps to resolve them, you should be able to get your SPSS output showing up again.